start this one. Welcome to whatever channel this is. My name's Max. I'm, I'm Danielle. I'm Doolin. I'm Jash. I'm Batman. I'm Jash. I live in Japan. That's exactly how he sounds. Yeah, how did you know? I love Pokemon, but not the OG Pokemon. Anyways, doesn't matter. We're totally off topic. Yeah, this is a video already. And noodles. This is our second video uh, where we're going to give you another 10 of our favorite couples games, five from each of us. If you haven't seen the previous video, go check out the other channel of whatever this video is on, and you get to see 12 of our favorite couples games, including, well, Oh, oh that's why you want to do that. That's why we should have done six, five, six, five, yeah. 11 on each, but instead, <laughs> this one has 10. Yeah. So, these are our favorite couples games in no particular order. Make sure if you want to see more to go check out the other video. We're going to start this off with one of our favorites, mm -hmm. which is Obsession by Kayantha Games. Rub it in. It's so good. Salt in the wound. So good. Like, you got to get it. Yeah, and it's like out of print right now. Like, you just come back and print. This is a... You reminded me of Mick there for some reason. Who's Mick? Mick and Sarah? We are so... Oh, yeah, yeah. Are we like so off-centered? Yeah. <laughs> Were we the whole time? That's better. Modenia. Would you look at that? Modenia. Should I start over? Set in like Victorian England? Regency. Sure. Regency, Regency England. I didn't know that was a place. Queen. This is a game set in Victorian England in which you are like action selecting, card drafting, tile placement. You're hosting a party and multiple events and trying to raise your prestige back up from being one of the lowly families of Victorian England into what? a Dominating family in Victorian England. From peasant to queen. Is it, is it the queen. Regency? It's the Regency. Yeah. I really wish I could play this game. This game is excellent. Yeah, I wish I could play this game too, but... Sounds like it's full of romance. Yeah. We'll bring it and we come back in a couple months. It's pretty Yay. big. It's not a small game. I don't think you understand how big You have a weird is. concept of size. I don't think you size. understand how luggage works. Well... <laughs> 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 So not only is the theme on brand, a lot of people love this kind of Pride and Prejudice Victorian England theme, but also the game does play extremely well at all player counts. I've played this at two, three, and four, I believe, and I've had a good time every time. And there's like varying levels of asymmetry and difficulty and scenarios that you can choose to kind of swap it up, make things a little bit different time in, time out. But we love Obsession. This game is so good, it made Doolin fall out of his chair. That is true. It will forever oh, be is known. This, game? Yeah. this is yeah. the game? This is the game. Insert clip. Remember when the dragon fell on top of him oh and it broke? That's my favorite part. <laughs> Our game, first game that we're going to talk about, is Azul, also known as Azul. Azul. <laughs> it Azul. depends on what part of the world you live in. It could be Azul. In Canada, or it's known as, as Azul. Azul. Anyways, this is a tile Didn't know that. placement game that is uh, set in Portugal. Is Basically, it? you are just laying was... down tiles. Yeah and they're pretty on a factory floor. And this is a perfect game for two players that we personally love, that we actually only enjoy playing with each other. I only ever want to play this game at two. Yeah. I have no interest in playing this game at any other player account. No. It's beautiful. We love it. We loves it. Have you played any of the other Azul's? No. No interest. Really? No. I like Swamp Pavilion I don't want to play it. Why would I want to do that? I've never played Stained Glass or Centra. It's kind of like Catan. Like how many Catans can you put out in the world? Yeah, but they're quite different. It's Catan. I like Summer Pavilion a lot. I think you should check that one out too. We probably will. I get it. And there's a new one they just announced. This yeah, is a great is. this is a great couple game. It's beautiful. That is our number whatever five. There's no numbers, James. No, how many times do we have to There's no this? numbers. There's a fly in here. There's no numbers. <laughs> oh my god. Our next game is Targi. Ooh, you ever play Targi? No. God, y'all gotta play some games, y'all. Isn't Targi like the best couple games? It is considered to be one of the best two player games. Deservedly so. We should play well, not. It's a two-player game. We can't really play it on BGA, but it is available on BGA, I do believe. This is a game where you've got, like, uh, it's kind of hate, hate because you're blocking off what other people want. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I know that Jamie really wants this piece right here, this card, I'm able to put, like, my piece over here, which stops her from getting whatever. Talking. We would like it. It's abstract. Yeah. The Keep theme talking. is meh. Uh, you are basically, like, building a tableau of different cards and also collecting resources as you move around and whatnot, but mm -hmm. it's a really, really good game. Plays in about an hour, so it's like a meatier two-player game. Like, it's not the lightest two-player game in the world, right. but I do really, really like Targi, and we haven't played it enough. We've only played it twice, maybe? So they it's one way we still need to we still need to explore that one quite a bit more. Yeah, yeah we don't want to play it, so. Yeah, they have it at Boardroom Game Cafe. We were gonna play it, but then we didn't. We're too busy. We're just got stuff going on. Same. 
Couple stuff, that. you know? Couple <laughs> stuff. Couple Our stuff. next one is uh, Fox in the Forest from Renegade mm. Games. I haven't had a chance to play that. This is a two-player trick-taking game that is competitive, not cooperative, that I suck at. Yeah, that's true. It is a great game for I think that she won the video on your channel. If that's that's no, literally thinking, right? the only time she's yes, ever won that. That's the only time I've ever seen you all play it. Doesn't matter because it's the only game that counts. The that's one right. that I won. But it's a great game for couples, for two players in general. I think that it's got just enough competitiveness. It's very cute. And trick taking is cute. relatively a simple enough concept to understand for most people, except for me. So I think it's great for a couple. Yeah, we've yeah, a lot of Yeah, it's very cute. Together. Pretty art. I love foxes. Yeah. I want to know how the uh, two player variant of Skull King plays. Yeah. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe it'd be the best yeah. two player trick taking game. Better than the crew. Mm. Ugh. It's not hard. Any. <laughs> I like that. Really All right, people next... are gonna freaking blow. Yeah, comments. people are gonna hate us. Our next game is Biblios, which is an ugly, ugly theme. It's not very pretty. What do you got against uh, monks, man. Well, nothing against monks. It's just boring. Monks Does that game excite you? Yeah. Does it? I, I love, love books. I love books. That's true. Yeah. You all do have book people genes in your body. Yes, you two got both people jeans in their body. <laughs> Biblios is excellent. I have played this at only two player. I don't think I've ever played this at anything genes. other than two, though it does work two to four. Um, it's a game where you're basically in an auction phase and then a drafting phase and stuff like that. It, it works really, really well. It's very quick. And I always like, at the end, it always makes me laugh. I don't know if you've all played this one, right? Yep. Did you all, when we played, when I played with both Danielle and my dad and Doolin, it always seemed like in the auction phase at the end, like we were all cracking up because we were going for the same thing. We like had yeah. no oranges, like no one had a single orange card. We all got rid of yeah. them. Yeah, it's Stuff very like that. weird how in that game, there's how many suits? Four or five? Five. You always end up going for the same one. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you have, there's five suits, four suits. This shouldn't happen. Yeah. But you always do. But if yeah. like blue's worth five well, and green's want worth three, I want to go yeah. for blue. It's true. Yeah. It's a great game. I really, really like Biblios. It's yeah. Great. That's a great pick. We do great love pick, that man. one as well. Great pick, babe. Thanks, babe. I can't remember what you're just saying on this. Huh? I switched back out while you guys were talking about it. Oh, did you really? With what? Oh, Biblios was great. That's when I wanted you wanted to take it off. I had it back on. Because I decided to switch out when it was on there. Sorry. I'm going to have to see. Okay. Ah, I need not. Jeff. <laughs> I do it before people start talking though. All right, our next one is King Domino. That's the one I just took off the list. Oh, that's the <laughs> yeah. one we took off the list. There we go. King Domino is a great game for couples to not only play with your significant other, but to play with other couples, so long as you only have two couples. That's a fake yawn. <laughs> But we love it. We all play it together all the time. You can play it on BGA. You can play it in person. It's just like simple, puzzly, goodness. great goodness. Game. Drafting, it's hate a good drafting. It's easy game to have conversations over. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Be a great first date game. Backdrop. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't take a lot of like Backdrop. thought process. That's the best way to describe those it types is, of games. It's like a TV show you put on the background when you're doing laundry and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, and that's a. In my a opinion, thing. a good thing. It's not a bad thing yeah, deterring absolutely. from the game, but like yeah. to your point, when you guys first came here and we played King Domino, we were all just chatting. Yeah, it and was. Like, it was like, oh, okay, yeah, I can put it up. What did you call it? the backdrop? Yeah, yeah. It was in the back. Yeah. Drop. Yeah. Back Round. Drop. So that's one of our games. One of them. It's not a list, so not I can't say a list. number. <laughs> no list. Our second to last game on our list is Cat Lady. Oh, which is being re-implemented as a dog lover, too, for that. those of you that don't like cats, aka Doolin. I like them both. This is a really, really... I did, did I know Doolin doesn't like cats? He's allergic. He's allergic. He's fine with them. He's just very... He's such a sensitive What a yeah. whale. He's in my house for like two hours. What a wham! He dies. It's a great game. Um, I really... It, it really surprised me. I bought this literally for the theme alone. I knew Danielle would play it with me. It's got cats, whatever. Cat. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. But like the action so selection yep. is really unique. There's three rows of three cards and they can be treated as rows and or columns. And you're selecting an entire row or column on your turn. Mm -hmm. And then essentially that stops them from selecting that same row or column the next turn. So they have to then move that piece and take a different row or column. And basically you're just trying to collect cats and feed your cats or collect toys or uh, catnip or things like that. And it's kind of a point salad game. Everything gives you points. I feel like I need this. It's very good. You have two cat games on your list. Cat Lady and what was it? IOC. I love cats. Oh yeah, I love cats. Yeah, it's yeah mostly because of she's here. IOC. 
I O C. I thought you said I love Lucy. I was like. <laughs> I also love Lucy. That's the next iteration of Isle of Cats. All right, it's got our Lucy on an island. Next game. You were gonna say number two. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say numbers. I've been banned. <laughs> I've been banned for numbers. Our next game is Monikers. This is a great oh, game to play with other couples. I'm dumb. I didn't even think about the fact that it doesn't have to be a two-player game. No. No. I am so <laughs> dumb. Monikers would be on our list too. Yeah, Monikers. So it's couples. I know. Games. I did not even comp. Not two-player. Yeah. We should have clarified. Games to play <laughs> with couples because That's really it's a good. really good way to know whether or not you and your significant other are on the same page, which often you will find Yeah, Jeff and I are, are on the same page. Yeah, what's that mean about us? Well, I'm just saying. Whatever, it, babe, it we, could killed also it. Be we killed a it last time. Yeah, we did. Ender. We killed it. Yeah, we did. Last time. We did good too. We, I also think it's lost. good. I also think it's <laughs> good to lose. like, it's a good You'll see that on the channel as well. Yeah, what? It's a good icebreaker. What? Okay. Yes. Yeah. But get you out of your it show. forces you to like you your chair. be like, because if you're like, Silly. I don't know, if I'm like meeting someone for the first time, let's just paint the scene. Okay. Let's say Jamie and I have just met. Yeah. And she's like, look at that boy. As she should. I want to play some monitors with that. Wingspan. But then we start playing, and let's say you two are the other couple. As and I'm just said. sitting there, and monitor just comes in. It's like, well, yeah, at some point you're going to have to do charades. Mm -hmm. And they're like, ugh. I'm going to do that. And we're just sitting here and pouting. Easy peasy, I'm not gonna be with you. So, see ya. See ya. See ya, yeah. sucker. See ya, sucker. You know what I mean? Yeah, call, you gotta go all in. Call, call your couple. Call your couple. Exactly. It's, yeah. a, it's a color couple. Couple color. <laughs> couple color. <laughs> couple color. Couple color. It would be a marriage ender. Yeah. It's the same with, uh, same with uh, Skull King. No, what's the game? Silver Bullet. That's it. Silver Bullet. I think it's a great, great pick. Great pick. That is a great pick, oh, and I'm really sad monikers. that I didn't consider we like, play playing with too. other couples. We have to play that tonight. And Death May Die. Speaking of, is our final couples game what? on our list. Cthulhu Death May Die That's is a really great, it is a great two-player game. I really want to hear the concept behind this battle. Why is that? Because they like to play this. We game. are a couple. What? We love. <laughs> Since when? The what? <laughs> When? We love Death May Die. What? It works yeah. extremely There it is. Thank you. <laughs> it works extremely well at two players. Um, it's very fast. I told you this before we even played Death May Die. Yeah. That I think it excels at the two to three. Mm. Four was good. Obviously, we still liked it. Yeah. But there's a little too much downtime for my tastes. Yeah. That I think two and three allows you to do that really well. And two gives you the possibility of either playing two investigators each mm. if you want. Or you can play one investigator each, which allows you to ramp up in power fairly quickly because you're taking more of the insanity. Mm -hmm. But it also means that the insanity is more dangerous. Right. So it does change the game dynamic a little bit, uh, whereas you're not wanting it as much. But yeah, we love Death May Die. Why are you laughing? I don't know what you, she even just went. Because he's sitting there like. Oh yeah, here. Okay. Yes. You grab that one. I'll grab this one. That's my life. There we go. We'll just hold it there the whole time. No, you're Death May fine. Die is an incredible game for any player What's count. What's on your fingers? A like, lot of things. I'm just curious. And I really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Death May Die is a great couples game, and I implore you all to try it out after we are no longer here, which will be We're tomorrow, to. which is so sad. We're going to. I'm gonna to have to learn everything you do, but I think it's pretty. It seems pretty. Straightforward. It's yeah, like basically it's not like, hard. Boom, boom. These are the, the steps you need to follow. The yeah. back of the rule book has the entire turn summary. In fact, maybe, maybe when we play tonight, no. I'll let you run it and I'll be there to help. Or Jamie run it and I'll be there to help. That's Jamie, can run it. okay. I'll let Jamie run it and I'll be there to assist in yeah, running. I just need to focus on rescue. No, you're not playing rescue. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's rescuing tonight. I want to be rescued. Yeah, really I don't know like, why this became Rasputin, but... Well, okay, his you? mini looks like this! <laughs> we have one last game. It's one of my new favorite games. And that oh, is... Oh, I know what it is. That's pretty clever. Yep. It is really good. It is very good. that is another game that I think you can play as a background type of game where you're kind of like chatting and rolling yep. dice a and having a coffee. And I think it also, like, as you get deeper into your relationship, no pun intended, as you get deeper into your relationship. She was deep from day one, boy. Okay. See, I take it here, and then you're like, bye! And then you went way over Turns here. it up to 11, man. Here's Anyways. the line. Have you met me? Here's yeah. Jeff. Exactly. So, as you, you can keep seeing if you can beat each other, beat your own scores, and all that stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, my life. 
<laughs> I wasn't even going to do it. You did it. I was like, well, if he's doing it, I got to do it. Anyways, that's our last game. No, it's a great pick. It Max, is a very good Max pick. Max, please not the worst in me. <laughs> it's true. Do I, Jamie? I'm not normally this bad. Okay, fair. <laughs> Ganshan Clever is yeah. excellent. I really want to try Doppelt So Clever and yeah. Clever Cubed yeah. to see if they're better right. or not. I don't know. But yeah, Ganshan Clever is great. Tell yeah. us in the comments which one's best. Yeah. And those are our uh, 10 of our 21 favorite, no. 22. Five of our six, five of our 11 favorite couples games per couple. <laughs> Check out the what? other video. <laughs> We need that gif of the person like doing math, the math. <laughs> in their head. None of it makes sense. I'm so confused. This was ten. This was of ten our 22. of our twenty-two yeah. favorite couples. You had it right the first time. I did. went down a really I weird. I did. I did. Like five of six. Go check out the other video if you want to see our uh, twelve favorite couples games. It goes. <laughs> Later days. Bye. Bye. Um, it's not a place. It's why a time are you period. yawning already? It's a time period, right? Yes, I was. It was a joke. Actually, I think the board game this is, is Victorian. Terrible. We're restarting again, anyway. Uh, no, 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 no. Welcome no. back to Table. This is all good stuff. Then we'll cut it and add it. Yeah, cut it and add it. Uh, hey, Jeffrey. Listen, Max, welcome to my friggin' life. This is what I deal with every video. Jeff's not really done anything. Yeah, to be thank you. Thank what? you, Max. Uh, you did yawn. Thanks, then Max. What's happening? No, keep going. Everything's happening. Ready. Set. Go. Go. We're doing this again? <laughs> this is the fourth time we're doing this. <laughs> like, Columbus. Welcome back to Table Knots. My yeah, name is Foster. Maxwell Tamer. I pretend to like games and I just call them whenever I buy them. <laughs>